So good afternoon to everybody. I don't know if we may start. Is everybody here? I hope so. So good afternoon again. My name is Francesco Cancelliere, and uh, I have the honor and pleasure uh, to introduce uh, for uh, participants to this uh, presentation of a book, of a book which is indeed the um, procedure book of the last year, uh, two years ago symposium, the third symposium held here in Porto in uh, uh, 2015. Um, I had some brief note about the participants prepared, but I guess it's not useful to, to read it because maybe you know the participants here better than me. Uh, so I would like to start immediately with the presentations uh, by the um, presenter, uh, Professor Vitor Oliveira, and then the, the three editors of the book, uh, Professor David Viana, Professor Franklin Moraes, and Professor Jorge Vieira Vaz. Uh, I'd rather, uh, I would suggest that, uh, as we are a bit late, I think, in terms of timetable, uh, I'd like to keep as short as possible this presentation. Uh, of course, if you have some questions, they are welcome. Uh, but I'd rather suggest that after the presentation and the questions, uh, we will move to the cocktail and maybe uh, we, ha we will have the opportunity of uh, talking about uh, the book directly with the editors. So, um, just to keep it as short as possible, let me introduce you, presenter, Professor Vitor Oliveira. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that way. <laughs> so, I don't know if I need this, or I have I something. So. Yes, yeah. okay. Because yeah. I have something in my pocket, I don't know if it... So, um, good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to do a, a brief presentation on the book. I'll try to keep it in 10 minutes. Um, so first, I, I would like to congratulate uh, David Vienna, uh, Georges Vaz and Franklin Moraes, uh, not only for editing this book, but uh, for uh, keep doing this conference. Um, it's easy to, to do a conference, to organize a conference, but to keep it year after year with this quality, it's, it's something very difficult, so I think that should be acknowledged. Um, the book, so the book is in, uh, it has 23 chapters. It is organized in these four parts, from information gathering and processing to higher semantic level of theories, to design methods of project production, and to material production. So when you look at this structure, uh, you immediately uh, notice that there is here um, a line of organization that brings you to uh, from um, simple data ga gathering to a more systematic analysis, then to design, and uh, to a fourth part that is devoted to construction, to real construction. Um, so along this line, the, bu the book uh, uses very different methods, as you can see in this slide. Uh, from BIM and GIS to space syntax to processing, cellular automata, shape grammars, CAD, parametric processes, CAM and CNC. So there is a lot of uh, methodological experimentation and innovation in this book. I think that one of the most um, powerful ideas uh, of the book is that we are always learning. We are always learning from the colleague next to us to a guy in Australia that works with a, the, a similar method uh, as, uh, as we use or with informal methods. Uh, although this, uh, this conference and this book focuses on formal, uh, Franklin Moraes, in the beginning of the, of the book, reminded us that uh, we have to be aware of innovation in both formal and informal methods. 
So as you can imagine, the, na the nature of this book uh, makes its reading a very personal experience. Uh, what does this mean? It means that uh, the things that were more important to me uh, when reading the book might not be the same as um, other reader can, uh, can experience when he or her uh, be uh, reading this book. So um, one, one, interest, one interesting issue that, uh, uh, that the book raises is, um, and this is, that is why I chose this image from Paul Vieira, um, is that um, is it possible to design a particular method for a specific geographical context and then keep applying it to very different contexts? Uh, how much can a method uh, take? Uh, how much can it be deformed? And we still say that it is the same method that we have designed one year ago or two years ago to uh, a very different context. And when, it, when we get to, to chapter, chapter four uh, by Paul Vieira, um, he argues that um, when he had this uh, particular territory, the Lima River Valley, uh, he tried to look um, morphological method that was suitable to this territory. And it tells us in chapter four that he could not find it. So he had to produce a new method, a method of his own. Um, this is a strategy. Uh, in chapter five, uh, João Pedro Passos, which is also here, um, he selected a similar territory uh, in um, nearby, uh, this one, and uh, his option was the opposite. It, he looked at uh, the existing uh, morphological methods and he said, uh, for me, one, it's not enough, so I will try to combine two different things. I will try to combine space syntax with some GIS-based tools. So we have here two different strategies and I think it's, it's very important. But uh, more important than that is uh, this reading that you have when you look at these two chapters uh, about this debate between the method and the territory. Another uh, important uh, thing for me, and I think that the author of this is around here, is João, João Ventura. Um, in chapter seven, uh, João Ventura does also something that for me was very interesting. This is um, just an example of a sample of squares that um, was studied by Carlos Dias Coelho some years ago in Lisbon in um, using a method that uh, the authors, the editors of the book would probably call informal. Um, and what uh, João Ventura does is to go back to these 100 squares around Portugal and uh, applies formal methods. So we have this, um, it's not here a direct comparison, but we sense this comparison between what we can get from informal and what we can get from formal methods. Another topic. Um, it's that of uh, methodological innovation. I'm sure that uh, you all remind, uh, the, the, you all have in mind the criticism that space syntax has been, th uh, has been dealing with um, perhaps since the 80s. Um, it immediately comes to my mind a paper by Carlo Ratti in 2004 that is very well structured in this criticism to space syntax. Then Bill Healy replied, and then Carlo Ratti replied again. And uh, two of the things that were in this debate be between Ratti uh, and Hillier was um, the, um, the fact that space syntax does not deal, at least in an explicit way, with topography 
and with uh, the height of buildings. And this chapter by uh, Franklin, uh, Franklin Rice, um, it's very important because it, it gives us an answer, an explicit answer of how to deal with these two things that have been part of this debate. Another topic, uh, now with uh, José Nuno Beirão, um, is that of the difference between analysis and design. Uh, this is something that uh, the, the book also addresses. And um, I think that the main questions that we have in this book, particularly in the third part of, of the book, and this chapter is from the third part, of the book is that um, what do we want to have? Do we, do we want to have uh, an analysis that is scientific and a design that is creative? Is this possible? Do we want it? Or do we want to build something a little bit different that uh, mix, it doesn't mix, but it's, it's something, uh, a whole, that has analysis and design, and that is the whole is scientific. So the room for creativity is uh, it's not much. So what do we want? Um, and I think that um, the chapter by José Nuno Beirão, and also chapter by Elena Calvo, um, give us some inputs for this debate that I, I also think it's very important. As I told you in the, in the beginning, uh, the book goes one step further and it also deals with effective construction, not only with our projects, our intentions, but also with the, with the construction in real world. And in uh, chapter 21, uh, the author of this chapter tells us that the architect becomes the organizer of conceptual robotic strategies covering the areas of design, material, structure, and machine development. So to conclude, um, I think this is a very important book. It is very well structured and it's not easy because this is a collection of papers presented in a conference, but I think that the editors have made really a, a, a good job in organizing uh, the book. It's very well balanced. It offers valuable insights on, um, valuable insights and innovative views on a set of methods for this wide range from data collection to analysis, then to design, and then to effective construction. Um, I believe it somehow remains open I see it as an uh, as an open, uh, open document, and um, as I've told you in the beginning, I think one of the main value of of the of the book is that it's part of a conference that, in its in its fourth edition, is already um, a reference both in national and in in international terms. So, I thank you for that. So, thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Vitor Oliveira, for your introduction. Then I will pass the uh, uh, testimony to Professor David Viana, I think. We go well, in the same order, start. or what do you think? Uh, all the positions, so. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> please, <laughs> Professor <laughs> Flan Franklin Moraes, it's, it's, your it's your turn. I already talked a lot here, my voice is not. <laughs> so I pass to the next. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can say two things about the book, <coughs> I suppose. Okay. The first thing is, I think, is against all odds. We have already a reader. Yeah? <laughs> Vitor, thank you, you are the man. <laughs> this is fantastic for us and unbelievable. Um, because it's not a, a book from Paul Coelho, okay? It's a very, very deep book in some, in some things. And it's too easy. It, 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 it will not be a blockbuster, of course. 
Okay. Second thing, what I, what I want to say to the book is the title. The title can be uh, like something like um, a nice set of tools and some ideas how will use that about analysis, about special analysis, some kind of that, okay? But this is, is a very long title, it's impossible to, to put in the cover. So what we do is a short title that, uh, in the general terms, uh, it uh, replicates the, our um, name of our symposium. So, so um, I think it's um, just to say that the, the, the real aim of this, um, of this book, of course, is a, 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 a group job, a, a work that is made uh, with a lot of people, but David Biano uh, uh, have a, a very, very important uh, role in this, um, in this uh, uh, edition, okay? So, um, about the strategy, and I think it's as important that he say something about the strategy that he, he uh, follow to get this, okay? Thank you. Um, th three... Very short, please. Three main ideas. The first thing is that as uh, Professor Vitor Oliveira already told you, you can uh, realize during the book that um, there are areas within the formal methods that are more developed and others that are still need to get more uh, body. For instance, the last chapter about construction is a short one because I think is where the, the, the bridge between uh, theory, between conceptualization, between approaches, between methods, and real construction is still a gap, is still a void there to be filled in. So the book, and as you say, it's, it's very clear, is not an open, it's not a closed thing, because this final chapter, the, 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 the bridge to construction, is something that needs to, to, to be improved and need to be um, more uh, deepened. So uh, we hope that in the next seminar we have more contributions uh, from people wanting to talk about uh, formal methods and construction. That is something that we feel that w the response that we have is uh, lower in this uh, aspect. Um, uh, through the, um, the book, uh, also uh, another um, uh, basic idea is that, as we already told you yesterday, um, we uh, try to understand how all of these approaches can be assembled together, where the limitations of each one of them can reach the opportunity to, t to, to go to another one and to work with, uh, in a combinatory way with, uh, both, uh, with, with uh, a lot of these formal methods. So we, 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 we have this in this symposium also. We have interventions that shows how different approaches can be uh, put together. And that is something that is really also highlighted uh, within the book. And we hope that that uh, kind of idea, of basic idea, maintained uh, through the symposium and through future editions. Because we don't want this to be a specific uh, methodology forum. We want this to be um, uh, merging uh, forum of, of uh, um, uh, approaches. And finally, to say that um, this wouldn't be possible without the contributions of all the authors. So uh, some of them are here. We really thank you for this, as we already thank you this, uh, the contribution from the fourth symposium for the publications that we are going to have uh, in the future, because you, you are doing the work we are editing, we are, we are assembling it uh, in a way, but um, without your contribution, this uh, wouldn't be possible. So thank you, and uh, I hope you enjoy the book, I hope you promote the book, and uh, I hope you use it some way, and uh, we would like it to be an operative and a useful book uh, for everyone. Thank you.